In this video, I'm going to share with you five tips on how to talk to your drill sergeant during basic combat training without getting smoked, and it starts right now. everybody welcome back to team swartz and if this is your first time on this channel and you're looking to learn more about basic combat training and about the army specifically the army national guard say less i got you covered you can start now by subscribing to this channel and hitting that bell icon so that you can stay in the know there are five tips that i'm gonna share with you today and tip number one always have a battle buddy in a training environment or in combat it's highly suggested that you have a battle buddy but in a training environment always have a battle buddy because it's for safety reasons and to add a third person as a witness so that that way there's no he said she said bs if you approach a drill sergeant without a battle body be prepared to get stronger and your drill sergeant will make sure that he will exercise his right to make you stronger at your expense so back in the day we used to call it a smoke session and to get smoked or to do corrective training which is a politically correct term your drill sergeant can make you do one of the 10 preparation drills and one of them being the push-up which is a four count exercise and it can only make you do by regulatory guidance five repetitions per exercise but the drill sergeants find like legal loophole and what they end up doing is they're gonna make you let's say they do the push-up they'll go like this halfway pace run lean rest position move and cadence exercise one two three one, two, three, and it goes all the way up to five, and they're gonna tag their battle buddy, another drill sergeant, just like a WWE style fighter, and they're gonna be like, tag your at battle, and they're gonna come in, in cadence, exercise, one, two, three, one, two, three. So don't do it. If not, I mean, if you don't mind getting stronger, they will make sure they do that. Tip number two is to stand at the position of parade rest, which is a modified position of attention, which means that your heels are 10 inches apart or approximately shoulder width apart with your hands behind your back, with your thumbs interlocked like so, with your right palm outward, fingers together and fully erect, placing it directly on top of your belt behind you. That is the position of parade rest. Normally your head and eyes are locked forward, but when you're talking to a drill sergeant, which leads me into tip number three is eye contact. This is one of the few times that I would suggest that you give your drill sergeants eye contact to display and show respect, which leads into tip number four, which is confidence. By looking them in the eye gives them the idea that you're confident and to show even more confidence in tip number four is to sound off. Speak clearly and loudly, the louder the better. So for example, when they're doing, let's say the accountability formation and they're going down the roster, making sure everyone's there, calling out loud last names or if they don't know how to speak last names and they smarten up and they use a roster number and they get to your number like let's say you're number 58 and they call out 58 you're gonna sound off here Joe Sergeant don't sound timid and soft and be like here Joe Sergeant because you're just gonna get even more mad and furious and if they get frustrated enough they'll make you do some more push-ups and smoke the hell out of you and tip number five always begin with and or end with drill sergeant so for example if I wanted to approach my drill sergeant and ask for permission to go utilize the latrine which is the bathroom that's what we call the bathroom in the military is a latrine. I don't get it, but whatever it is, what it is. So I'm gonna approach a drill sergeant with my battle buddy, of course. Drill sergeant, private swords request permission to speak, drill sergeant. Speak, drill sergeant, private swords request permission to utilize the latrine, drill sergeant. To survive basic training and addressing a drill sergeant, and you're gonna walk up to them, follow these five tips, and you'll be all right. Don't be afraid, don't be scared of them, don't have fear. They're human beings just like you. You know, they put their pants on one leg at a time just like you, so hang in there, hang tight, you'll be just fine. If you like these tips and you find them useful, share them with your battle buddies, do me a favor, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and I will see you in the next video.